So this topic is called factoring a product of a quadratic trinomial and a monomial. So they're giving us basically a problem that they want us to factor completely. So we always start with looking to see if there's anything that every single term has a, in common. And in this case, it's a 2y squared. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in here, 2y squared. And then I'll put my parentheses in. So what we have left when we take, um, when we factor out a 2y squared, for the first term, we'll have 5y squared. And the second term will be 16y. And the last term will be 3. Then we want to factor this. Now, I have another video about factoring a trinomial where the leading coefficient is not equal to 1. And this is how we do it. We take that first um, leading coefficient, 5, and we multiply it by the constant, 3. So we rewrite the problem y squared plus 16y plus 15. Now, I like to circle that 5 because we don't want to forget in the end that we took that out and we have to put it back in. Then when we factor this trinomial, the y squared, you have to have a y in each um, beginning, I forget what you call it, beginning term for each of those binomials. And then we need to think of two factors of 15, so two numbers that multiply to get 15, that will add to 16. And that will be 15 and 1. And we're going to add both. Now this is where that five comes back in. We divide both of these by five. And then we want to simplify as much as we can. So this will be y plus three and y plus one fifth. However, you can take this five and put it in front of the y. And that's the same thing as y plus one fifth. Um, five y plus one is actually the same thing. Basically we just, um, because these are, let's see, how do I how do I explain how this would be? Um, how about this? If we set y plus one fifth equal to zero, then y would equal negative one fifth. That's what y equals here. If we set five y plus one equal to zero, we subtract the one, divide by five. So we're just saying that these are the same um, as factors. So we're gonna type this into our answer. And we'll come over here, we have y plus three. And we'll do another one too, like this, that hopefully will help you a little bit. We have five y plus one. And now that should be um, factored fully. So let's do another one. Okay, so what do all of these have in common? I can see a three u cubed. So I like to just start by typing that in so I don't forget that's part of my answer. Put in my parentheses. Okay, so at, when we factor out that 3u cubed, we get 2u squared minus 3u minus 5. Um, and I'm going to factor like I did before. I'll take that 2 times 5. So we rewrite everything. 2 times 5 is, or negative 5 is 10. We factor that, um, it would be u minus 5. That would give us the u minus 3. So when I do negative 5 times 2, I get negative 10. Negative 5 plus 2 gives me that negative 3. And then we need to remember to bring back our 2. Simplify completely. This would be u plus 1. Um, this one doesn't reduce, so we'll put 2u minus 5. We just bring that denominator and stick it right in front of the u. So that's what we're going to type in. 2u plus, no, minus 5u plus 1. And we should probably do one more just so you have three examples that you can look at. Um, all right, here we go. So let's see, this has 3, 3, Two, 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 two. Okay, they don't have any, but they do have a W to the fourth. Okay, so we'll just start with W to the fourth power. Okay, so we're gonna factor out W to the fourth. So we have nine 
w squared plus 24w plus 16. So 9 times 16, let's see, what is that? 9 times 6, 54, add the 5 to 9 is what, 14. Oh, 144. Okay. So we have W squared, oh, circle the 9 so I don't forget, plus 24W plus 144. 44 is 12 times 12, and 12 plus 12 is, 144 is 12 times 12, and 12 plus 12 is 24. So it's W plus 12. W plus 12. Interesting. We divide them both by 9, reduce, and we got 4 thirds. We could take that 3, move it in front of the W, 3W plus 4. Because they're both going to be the same, we can just put a little squared right there. 3W plus 4. Oh, I thought I was in there. See when that happens. 3W plus 4. And parentheses squared. Okay, that's the end of the lesson.